Now, I'm Thomas Thurman, and this is my YouTube channel. Mostly, I talk about poetry. Today, however, I'm here to tell you about a skin condition that I have called psoriasis, and it's spelt with a P. P S O R I A S I S comes from the Greek word for itch. Psoriasis, you see, is is a skin disease, but it's also an autoimmune disease. It means your skin cells are fighting one another, and as a result, can you get that? Yes. As a result, the um the cells build up into a sort of stuff called plaque that's uh, red and scaly, you see, and um, and uh, I have it. They divide it into, uh, they divide it into uh, mild, moderate, and severe. And I have it in the severe form, which means I have it over most of my body. And although I'm going to keep keep my underpants on today, I'm going to show you. Okay, so I apologise for my tummy. I am trying to work on that, but but. You see that over most of my body, you see, I, this is, now you know why, now you know why I usually wear long sleeves and long trousers. Over most of my body, I have red scaly plaque, and it is very itchy. And uh, when clothes and so on touch it, ooh, <laughs> When clothes and so on touch it, it is like um, sunburn. You know, if you if you have very um, if you have uh, severe sunburn on your skin and and stuff touches it, ow! It's like that. And um, one of the uh, particular uh, problems is when it gets cold and rainy, and you get goosebumps, and then of course that stretches your skin because the psoriasis does not stretch. So um, you're okay when you're sitting still, but you know stretching like this is actually quite painful. Um, yes, I'm not going ow, ow, ow all the time, but you know it does hurt, and I have to I have to live with it. You may also note that uh, everywhere I go, I end up with uh, white dust because uh, because that's my skin. The interesting thing is, of course, that um, all almost all household dust is human skin. It's just that. Psoriatic people produce far more of it than anybody else. So this stuff is aloe vera. One of you can buy it over the counter at the chemist. One of the things about psoriasis is that your skin dries out much faster than it does for most people. And um, so it, that's part of why it becomes red and crackly. Do you see the difference there? This arm I put aloe vera on, and this one. I haven't. Now, of course, it does it does sting quite a lot to put to put this on. But um, if you don't put it on, then the the uh, psoriasis becomes more and more um, inflexible all the time until, in the end, it's like you're wearing a, a really tight corset or something like that, and you can hardly breathe. And uh, you know, turning round is a painful thing. Uh, oh. And so, ha! Gosh, this this actually this does sting quite a lot. But you know, after you get uh, used to pain, you know you learn to live with it. But it does; it still hurts, you know, because pain pain hurts. So um, there are lots of uh, remedies. Well, there aren't really any remedies. There are no there's no cure because psoriasis is a genetic disease. Um, I, I've known people who've had it since they were children. I didn't have it as a child, but uh, I, I started getting it when I was about 25, and now I'm 39, and as you see it's all over me. Um, infrared, I don't mean infrared, I'm ultraviolet light is very good for it. So if you live somewhere sunny, go around without your shirt on, that's fine. But um, Huh. Otherwise, there are machines that you can uh, 
that you can uh, like like a sort of glowy shower cubicle and uh you go into the hospital and you you get naked and get into this thing and it like shine a light on you and you do that like three times a week for weeks and weeks and weeks i did that i've done that twice it got rid of most of my psoriasis but my psoriasis is very persistent and it came back straight afterwards i didn't get rid of all of it anyway um there are also various topical creams you can put on uh there's there's colta you know that you they used to be sold with you know the, the slogan the heartbreak of psoriasis and it makes you smell like a road um that's not you know that's not bad if um if you only have small patches but uh, yeah a lot of people are, are very worried about how it looks and people will think uh, they have the plague or leprosy or something like that i don't know i get uh, questions sometimes but mostly i've learned to ignore them and mostly it's covered up you know it's under my clothes i'm just letting you see now but uh, mostly it's a hidden it's a hidden illness and um, most people don't know why i'm in discomfort most of the time uh yeah so there it is psoriasis it's it's it will always be with me in some form or another uh even if the symptoms go away it'll always be there um there is uh, a lot of excellent help now there's uh, uh the psoriasis association in the uk and uh something similar psoriasis foundation i think it's called in the us uh and you would do well to check them out and that's all thank you for listening